showing you how Green has grown his channel so quickly. So first of all, what if I told you a year ago, D Dream was a YouTube channel with 1,000 subscribers that no one cared about. And now he has 9 million subscribers that he developed in a year. He goes up about 300k a day. If you ask me, that's a lot. That is a lot. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you how he broke, basically, the YouTube algorithm. Um, so, basically, he, he did it on the smartest way possible. It's basically finding other YouTubers that are big and then copying their video video ideas with a twist on it now this really works out for dream because now he's at nine million subscribers and now people are trying to copy off him like his speed runners episode that's where he got really big hits now he may he i think he got a load of content and then tried to put it into one but i think it's quite creative now step one i'm gonna show you how well i just showed you the first step actually but step two is like he he tries to put like a good amount of effort into his video and he tries to make them 10 minutes long i'll tell you why he tries to make them 10 minutes long because and then it's gonna have more views because it's not a short video that no one really cares about and it's not a long video that people can't be bothered to watch. It's a nice, short, snappy video that people love. And now he's just breaking the YouTube algorithm. Now, he's breaking it quite a bit. But it's not breaking it. It's just outsmarting it. And, um, yeah, now he's big. So, yeah. And also, in the past two days, he's gathered 500,000 subscribers. And I'm sat here on 53, and I've been going on YouTube for f two years, nearly three. So if you dropped a sub on my videos, that would really help me uh, a lot. And, yeah, that would really help me. Anyway enough chit chatter about me i'm gonna show you the actual step of how dream became big now he didn't use content that was trending at the moment but he actually used content that used to be trending so like Dan TDM when he made stuff it wasn't it's not exactly like Dan TDM but say there's a youtuber out there that says like it's nearly the same title as Dan TDM's one of his most popular videos not a long time ago about three years ago that that would hit massive on his channel and then he started creating his own ideas once he had like a million subscribers and that's when he started to really blow up so if you want a big channel just stick to original ideas all right and this is the most important part no one cared about him when he had 1000 subscribers and guess what he did he the subscribers didn't care about him but soon as he made he made this uh, content that the subscribers wanted oh that changed the whole view he started to rack up the subscribers he started to rack up the views because that's what you have to learn that that's what the viewers want not not they like him for who he is that's what they want 
they want good content and stuff like that so that's pretty much how he got big and he's still breaking it now i think like i didn't see him for a bit and then all my friends were like dream 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 look at him and i was like what are you on about and my friend today he said they he was on nine million subscribers and that was from two days ago when he last checked his channel. Guess how many he is on now? He is on a big amount of 9.5 million. And the last time he checked was two days ago. 500k subscribers in 48 hours. If you ask me, that's got to be breaking the YouTube algorithm. And that's basically it for this video. I do, I do hope you enjoyed. And, um, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Also, before I end this video, make sure you smash that sub button. Smash that subscribe. Well, <laughs> sub... <laughs> smash that um subscribe button and smash that like button and also don't forget to click that notification bell so you know every time i upload